Hi, I'm Polly Alice, and as promised, I wanted to do another poetry morning, something that kids can do at home. And today we are going to talk about Pablo Neruda's poem, Ode to a Watermelon. But before we do that, I want you to do something to get your imaginations ready. So first, take your imagination hat and put it on top of your head, like this. Okay. What does it look like? Can you see it in your mind? Okay, now I want you to walk around the room everywhere that you walk that um, you have a little bit of room to move in your space. So walk around your room for a minute and I want you to imagine something with me. I want you to imagine that you're getting bigger, bigger, bigger until your head touches the ceiling and your arms are touching the walls. Can you do that? I think it's working. You look a little bigger to me. Okay, now, once you're all the way as big as you can be, now we're going to shrink back down. So this time, I want you to imagine that you're shrinking as small as you possibly can be. And you're so small that you can walk on the walls. So you might have to lie on the floor for this. Lie on the floor, put your feet up on something, that you're allowed to put your feet on and um, pretend you are walking on the ceiling. What is it like up there? Now you can't close your eyes for this one because you need to see what's up there. And if you're small and you're walking on the ceiling, what does it look like? Is there a light up there? How big is it compared to you? And do you have to walk around it? Or step over it? And are there beams up there? Is there a cobweb or a spider? You might have to stay away from that part. So once you've walked all around the ceiling, I want you to come back to the computer and sit in your chair. And all you need for this exercise is um, a window or something to write on with a washable marker or crown. If you don't have a washable marker or crown, we'll come up with something else. But we're going to write on our paper and then we're going to write on a window or something that is shiny. I suppose you could write on a refrigerator if you have a washable marker and no window. Okay. So today we're going to talk about a poem by Pablo Neruda. It's one of my favorite poems ever written and it's called Ode to the Watermelon. Now ode just means something that you love very much and you're kind of writing a letter or a song about it. Um, so I'm not going to read you the whole thing because it's really long, but let's see. I will read you um, just a part of it. Ode to the Watermelon, the tree of intense summer, is all blue sky, yellow sun. It's a fruit from the thirst tree. It's the green whale of summer. All right, so there's just a few lines. The green whale of summer. And poets like to take something small and make it big, um, like a watermelon, and saying it's like a whale. Um, and sometimes they take something big and make it small. And in order to do that, you sometimes have to use your imagination. So what I like to do when I'm playing around with this poem is I like to get out the washable markers and crayons, or maybe just blow on the window and write with my finger and draw a picture of something that I want to make big or little. And sometimes I don't quite have an idea at first, so I like to write it down first. So maybe I'll pick something I like really much, like, um, what do I like a lot? So let's say um, I really love apples in the fall. So I might draw an apple on my paper, and then I will draw some words, a poem about the apple. An apple is like something, like a happy balloon on my birthday. An apple is crunchy, like popcorn. An apple is sweet, like honey. An apple rolls when I drop it and makes lovely clunking sounds. <laughs> Something like that. So I'll just write whatever I like about apples. And then when I'm ready and I've decided what an apple is like or whatever fruit or vegetable I pick is like, 
I'll just go over to the window and I'm going to draw that picture. So maybe you're going to draw a whale or I don't know what you'll come up with, but I know it's going to be fun. So that's your poetry exercise for today, and I'm really glad to share it with you. I'll have another one tomorrow. Um, yesterday we colored on paper bags, and I'm wondering how that turned out. Um, and we, we wrote poems in different shapes. So if you have one to show me, just um, post a picture of it, and I will send you a note of mine. All right. Bye. See you next time.